Ooh, no ninja. Cringe. No ninja. We started Mew, so we're going VIP. And we just search the second VIP. Hope we hit it. If we don't, we just like get more rolls. So we know this guy isn't playing Water Angie, so we don't have to bench Manaphy. W info. Oh, nice. Super unlikely. I could get Zation down. Do I think getting Zation... Like, I have to decide whether I think getting Zation down is worth it. I don't think so, because it blocks my board space, which is kind of bad. Like, actually just blocks my board space. <clears throat> for Cress. Because Cress is always what I want to be doing next turn, so... If I get a chance. So yeah, after this game, I'm going to end the stream and I'm going to go live in about two hours for an online tawny. That's the plan for today, guys. You need more rolls? Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be the last game for the stream. And then I'm going to come back with an online tawny in two hours. So you don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss the online tawny. Get end stream, do some video stuff. Oh, just some editing. Maybe plan some stuff then go from there cram yep rope yep <clears throat> do we promote the energy or not? I think we actually do promote the energy I'm very fine with energy dying. Because I want to cross. Otherwise, I just get the energy down. This is just ladder. You playing a tawny? This is just a ladder. If I'm playing a tawny, it'll say my tawny record right below me. We're going to play a tawny in about two hours. Two and a half hours. But I'm going to um, end stream in the middle there. You think still think Gardi Bidiff? Yeah, probably. I don't think Tina. I don't think Tina's a Bidiff, so it's got to be Gardi. Okay, it's going for Abyss Seek. Well, we literally win the game if we hit Cresselia this turn. We actually just win on the spot if we hit Cresselia this turn, but we'll see what happens. Pumpkin's, Pumpkin's 20 today is huge, yeah. So I'll play in it. Yeah, so I think you level ball the active, attach Ironer, and Fog Crystal for Cresselia, and just see what happens. We have two candies, two Ultra Balls, two Guardi. I mean, it's as likely as it's going to get, so. And we don't need to hit that many energies. Just need to hit two energies. Not impossible at all. The hard thing to get is rare candy. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to miss, but it is what it is. Oh, keep chaining. Wait, so if I hit Candy Guardi off this, we have it. Or Ultra Ball rare candy. Uh. Uh. One time. Ultra Ball rare uh, God of War rare candy. Cringe. Yeah. Well, mute is. See if we can hit the fourth level. I should probably fog first here, to be honest. I don't know. I like. There's no way I'm actually. Um, what's it called? So we're back in the same spot as last game. We have all the curliers we could ever want on board. Just gotta not screw us up too badly. I think we discard. Um, anything? Hand's very good. Hand is very, very good. Do I discard anything here? Oh, we lost into Chorus. Okay, so he's down two Chorus. Uh, we just got the Seal Stone. No, he just got the energy already attached. It's fine. All right, boss. Now we can just evolve everything. Always win.
Okay, well, I'll be at the third chorus. You'll have to see it. Well, thinning all the vips. So my own is the less useful. Great. Absolutely great. Yeah, it's fine. To be fair, loss earning vips just means that on average the other cards are worse. So, you know, that's the that's the copium mindset. When they lost their own VIPs, you know that on average the other cards are worse than if they didn't, so. Because if all the cards were good, then they would only be have good cards. Even though they'd have to loss own two of them, they'd still only have good cards, so. Evolve. What are we going for? Maybe Abyss Seek. It's definitely Abyss Seek. I mean, ideally just evolve all these. Imagine. So what are the odds he has Chorus in hand right now versus none? He has one Chorus less in his deck. Do we have any info, any reason to believe that you have Chorus in this current hand compared to any other hand? Okay. Cross switch on the Galia. Oh, he's going to kill me with uh, Graham. Interesting. Well, I feel like this is just bad now. I'm just gonna iron a kill his comfy, right? This is just bad. Am I trolling? This is just wrong. I feel like this is never the play. You have to go busy here, right? He's gonna. Is this card the. Worker? Yeah, we got to focus. Watch out. Uh, we get Zacian Sealstone attached, Guardi, Ironer. I think we're drawing enough cards, I should never be concerned about whiffing Iron Air. Yeah. Like this, this. I don't, I don't actually change my mind. I don't think we mentioned the nation. So he's already used double cross. We can't cross switch her again for the rest of the game, most likely, because double cross switch is a myth. Um, when they're the only two cross switches remaining. Yeah, just Iron Air. Ship the Iron Air. I don't think we need to play this Ultra Ball. And especially with Mew, we should never. We literally should be a near guaranteed. And worst case, I can just shuffle and then, like, try and Mew after. Uh, we have an Ultra Ball on bottom, so we should do this. We can discard some Manaphy as well. Yeah, two Guardi, two Ultra Ball. No worries. And we're drawing six and then Mew for six. I mean, if I whiffed it, that'd be crazy. Okay, well, now I can hit Zacian as well. Okay, well, we did not whiff. Imagine. Would we have hit? Dude, we didn't hit Ultra Ball. If I whiffed off that, I could have actually been missed. If I whiffed off this Curly, I could have easily whiffed. That's crazy. All right, well, here's what it is. Okay, here, and we, yeah, we just killed the company. If he doesn't draw his last course, which is literally complete RNG, um, like, yeah. If he doesn't draw his last course, he just loses. So, <clears throat> he has to draw naturally. Okay, kill this comfy. I mean, a lot of the time I'd kill Tana here, but with only one comfy in play, it probably screws him more to kill this, like most of the time. Then putting damage on the Giratina. Because I only really care about the Giratina if he hits like, I mean, Chorus Cross, to be honest, has to be Chorus Cross. Or I literally don't care about this damage on Giratina. I mean, what most likely it'll be is just like switch cart, attach, attack, and then bench save while it's lying. Attach here? Bench comfy? Wait, to Abyss Seek? Ugh. That's gross. That is so gross from his perspective. That sucks. Alright, well, I'll kill you with Arcana Guardi. And then probably do it again. Oh, but I give him rocks. Is it just worth it to boss kill his um, cram or something? See, so lost owned cart plus radiant gren. Okay.
Probably just do this. I want to keep this rare candy around. At least one. Okay, we can refine away an energy. Maybe we just damage this Giratina. The issue is, the issue with just, just damage the Giratina is if he bosses Guardi, I'm not in a good spot. But it becomes pretty terrible. I guess, I mean, I could just kill with Guardi because he can't just... It's like he literally just can't just sit here doing nothing. Okay, wait. So I think we should rod first because I want to hit this Ralts because benching Ralts here is good. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, we did hit roll. I think we can discard a rare candy, to be honest. Actually, no, you just bench Zacian and Seal Stone it. Yeah, we just bench Zacian and Seal Stone it. Just go like this. Retreat, just put three, put four energies on it. Wait, four is 80, 60, yeah, it's fine. Oh, no, no, it's not fine. We can only put three. Yeah, Zacian, Seal Stone, and then do this. We should be in a very good spot regardless what happens here. Maybe I put energy on the Cresselia or something? No, it doesn't make sense. All right, we can definitely win this game without, oh yeah, yeah. We can definitely win this game without Gardevoir EX if he goes boss next turn. Pretty good. We can definitely win from that situation. Like, I don't think I put the extra energy on because him actually sableying these two and Roxanne me is actually terrifying. Actually really scary. <clears throat> I want him to only be able to take one prize if he does that. Is it scary? He just kills this. I then go Zacian. I mean, I might not be have anything. So, yeah, I think we just kill safest. Because yeah, if he does boss my Gardevoir, there's no way I'm not hitting at least one energy off the um thing. I so. I mean, I can almost guarantee. I I mean, I should be actually able to guarantee it, but. And also we want to bait the boss on Gardevoir here. We don't want to give him a second uh, second best play. We just want his only play to be boss the Gardevoir because it's the best outcome for me. <clears throat> yeah. Should be GG's. And I guess I do, I still need to hit a bunch of energies, but and I can super rod back three. I right, should be fine. Should have no issues. Do I have enough, do I have, oh, I only have one rod left. I mean, it should be fine. So yeah, we work our, uh, there's an energy that's good. Now we ultra ball. Red candy's fine. We don't need that. We don't need the red candy. Get the roll, it's just two, okay, well, it's just GG's. I just super rod back two energies and Arcana, twice. I mean, I at least once. Actually, maybe it is only once. Nah, we just Arcana twice. Next Arcana attaches to energy, so it's just worth. Is there any way I ever lose this doing this? I was thinking I can attach to Zacian so I never get stalled with the Zacian. So Arcana attached to Gardevoir attached to Zacian. You playing this night's tournament? I am. I'm gonna after this game, I'm gonna end stream and then I'll come back in two hours. I think you just bench rolls. I mean, there's no punish for benching rolls here, really. I'm just kill. Yeah. So bottom card is an energy. We have seal stone for it. The only issue is if we get vacuumed, I guess. Oh, yeah, I think it's only vac. Oh, and I'm trolling. What am I doing? He just literally, he literally just goes, he, I mean, he shouldn't have a boss left, so it should be pretty tough for him to do this. But he can just literally go boss Cresselia and attack with Sableye and I can't win. Attack with Sableye killing Gardevoir. But it, he'd have to be double cross. Because that's all he has. Maybe he hits that and he just wins, but. Because I don't have enough energies left. God, I trolled this so hard. I should have just, um, yeah, I just didn't need to play the super idea. It was just unnecessary. And I guess we'd be in a kind of bad spot. I could have played Iona this turn as well. I could have played this better. 
Ja. This energy really needs to go on. I guess it did. Nah, I only need to use one Arcana here, actually. That was the main mishap. Main mess up. I didn't need to use the second Arcana. Actually, maybe I did. Because what if he goes Roxanne? He just goes Roxanne, I only have one energy on my God will, like, kill my active with Cram or Sableye. But then I can hit Candy Guardy. I can still hit- wait, no, no, I'm fine, he just- He can't kill everything, so I just Candy Guardy. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is complete. It's completely fine. So, either he kills my Gardevoir and then I go Candy Guardy Cloud. Well, I mean, I guess he can Roxanne as well. If he Roxanne's as well, then it's losable. <clears throat> Or, um, I own it, it's not, no, it is losable. It is losable if I own it. Definitely, actually, definitely losable if I own it. If he doesn't hand disrupt, he's lost. I'm kind of assuming path as well, maybe. That's all for chorus down, so it has to be rocks. Playing the second save by literally does nothing. Okay, I don't know. We are just looking for rare candy and the thing -o. So I just need off this Gardevoir to hit either rare candy or the other thing. Well, he doesn't have any cards. He's <laughs> got zero cards in hand. So if I hit boss here, it's still winnable. Because I can just... Wait, do I have a boss left? Yeah, I have lots of boss. So if I hit boss, it's also winnable. Because I can just boss his, um, Giratina. So can I seal stone for worker? I have two there. Do I want... It's, it's my last prize. I think I had worker in hand. I don't remember. Rip. So yeah, always kill the gu big guardy. Yeah, yeah, I haven't won yet. Wait, please misspread the damage so I can use Cresselia to do something. One time? <laughs> but he still doesn't win next turn, so I still have time. <clears throat> but the, the issue is he's going to kill my Ralts. So after this turn, I have no way to win if I can't Candy Guardy. But if I Candy Guardy, even if I don't hit the Stadium Bomb, I'm still okay. Yeah, damage to the Ralts. Alrighty. I mean, this isn't where he should put the... He should have put the damage on Cresselia, actually. Oh, wait, no, no. I can't even tag Cresselia regardless. Okay, I'm stupid. Anyways, as long as I get Candy Guardy this turn, we're fine. I, I don't need anything else. Just Candy and Guardable. I Even if I have to use the Seal Stone. Okay, boss Boss is good because I can boss his Giratina. Um, Arcana. Or we can... I mean, I don't know. Oh, dude. Dude, this is so tough. Oh, no. Uh, uh, um... Uh, sorry, if I go Seal Stone for Worker, I have the Greninja, but if I whiff, I always lose. <sighs> oh, I think it's Boss Tina. I actually, I think it has to be Boss Tina. He's down a lot of gates. He's only down two gates. Oh, it's so bad, dude. It's so cursed. I think it's Boss Tina. Well, this is what it is. Attach active, scare him at least. I don't have another energy, but I can scare him. Pass. Please don't have a way to retreat, dude. I swear to god. He has no chorus left. <laughs> Literally both his cards are completely random. He didn't hold either of them. Oh no! Wait, does he have energy left? No, wait. Might not. I don't think he has a psyche left. One, two, three, four. That's five. Oh, yes, okay. No energy. No way to retreat. I don't know. Ah! No way to retreat, please. Yes, okay. We're still in it. I think it's Gardevoir first. As long as we get... I, I, I'm saying this again. As long as we... I mean, the issue now is that he can maybe... Wait, how many rods are you down? Okay, there's the Collapsed. So, all I have to do is hit Rare Candy or Guardi off this thing. Okay, he still has a Super Rod left. What did he lost own Path? I think it was Path Rod. Okay, well, sounds definitely very good. Okay, so. 
Akana, if we hit Candy, Candy will gotta win. Oh, that's not it. I think it's just Fog collapsed Ironar and then pray that we draw it. Okay, so we Ironar two cards, wait, one card to bottom and it was bad. It, it was Ninja and it was another thing. So we don't play the Fog Crystal, I don't think. Okay. Collapsed. I mean, to be honest, it's, it's literally just, do I draw? I, I literally have one card to draw Rare Candy or Gardevoir. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't do it because of Path. Wait, oh no, actually, I do want to check because if I work, I should do that. No, 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 I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I should, I should literally just, I don't know. All right. Oh, get your guardy. No. Bro, it's not meant to be, man. Are we passing again, bro? Playing, praying that he does no way to retreat at all. So we know he doesn't have a Psych Energy left. He has barely any Switch cards left. He might have a Switch card, maybe not even. He's down two jets. We might have a jet left. He might only be playing two jet though. His list is kind of weird. Oh, I don't think we raw. I think it's just a straight pass. Uh. Any way to retreat, I lose. He doesn't have that many draw cards left though. Oh my god, what the hell? No shot. It's the Abyssic. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have to draw Rare Candy or Guardi off this Arcana. We might have the, the workout of the Seal Stone, but that's not reliable at all. Dude, he's drawing to like the bottom of his deck here. And we might be able to deck him out, maybe with... Do we have a boss left? It might be the last prize. Oh! We just win, right? Wait, 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 hold up. Arcana. It's too easy. It's too free, actually. We had what? Oh my god, that's so dumb. <laughs> it's actually so... <laughs> <laughs> it's so free, bro. Okay, I think that's a pretty good game to end on. I'm gonna write that one down as one that I can make for the second channel. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a YouTube game. All right, hello YouTube. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a sub. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get the second channel to a thousand subscribers.